So Gino is oneness, if I can remember correctly. So Trinitarians, Christians are Trinitarians. When Jesus started out robbery to be equal with God, yet he was mad. They got confused. They got confused when Jesus said, when you see me, you see the Father. They got confused. They got confused when Jesus said, before. What I cannot agree with Gino Jennings on is this issue of the Trinity. So Gino is oneness, if I can remember correctly. So Trinitarians, Christians are Trinitarians. Christians have affirmed the doctrine of the Trinity for the last 2000 years of church history, because that is what the Bible reveals about God. However, Gino has thrown that away. I'm not sure if it's just because he doesn't understand it or he's choosing to ignore it. I don't know what it is, but the Bible teaches that God is one being who is three in person. Although it doesn't use that language, it gives us passages that illustrate that. One example is in the book of Daniel, where you see the son of man approaching the ancient of days. So when we say the word Trinity, what are we, what are we saying? We're saying that there is one God who exists in three persons. So Jesus has always existed, but Jesus is not God the Father. God the Father has always existed, but God the Father is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has always existed, but the Holy Spirit is not the Son or the Father. So this is how Gino Jennings would differ from what I just said. When Jesus started out robbery to be equal with God, yet he was mad. They got confused. They got confused when Jesus said, when you see me, you see the Father. They got confused. They got confused when Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. He couldn't put that stuff together for nothing. So they said, well, wait a minute. Jesus got baptized in Jordan. A voice spoke from heaven. Then a bird came. Jesus, the voice, the bird. The devil whispered in the air and said, It's the Trinity. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Huh? They all said, that, That's what it is. That's right. It's Trinity. Trinity. The moment you say God is three, you lie. You lie. Because you limit God. You can't put a number on him. So you that come along trying to pray to the holy three, please write me back and tell me which one of the three you're praying to and which one of the three is answering your prayer and which one of the three is coming back for the world. And when you write me and tell me which one of the three is coming back for the world, tell me what the other two going to be doing. Because this is confusion in religion. Amen. The Bible teaches that God is one being who is three in person. All the the Bible said God is a spirit. a spirit. The question is, what kind of spirit is he? He holy, is holy. the Holy Spirit. holy spirit. So Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, God, that's all the same. But the name of God, the name of the Holy Spirit, the name of Alpha and Omega, the name of the Lord of heaven and earth is Jesus. Jesus. That's his name. In this eye-opening video, a witness a woman challenged Pastor Gino Jennings' controversial doctrine, revealing startling insights and powerful truths as she questions his beliefs. Apostle Gino Jennings' shocking response leaves viewers in disbelief. This confrontation delves deep into the core of Jennings' teachings and exposes the implications of his doctrine. Ladies and gentlemen, join us as we explore the dynamic of faith, interpretation and accountability in a religious leadership. And don't miss this thought-provoking discussion that raises essential questions about belief system and their impact on followers. Watch now and discover truth behind Gino Jennings' teachings. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more enlightening content. Ladies and gentlemen, she challenges his teachings on salvation, arguing uh, that they don't align with uh, traditional Christian beliefs. With conviction, she presents her case, citing scripture and historical context. Apostle Gino Jennings, known for his strong stance on doctrine, 
responds in a way that surprises many. Instead of dismissing her concerns outright, he engages with her points, showcasing his unique approach to debate. His shocking response not only defends his beliefs, uh, but also invites further discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this moment highlights the complexities uh, within religious teachings and the importance of dialogue. Uh, my respected friend, uh, what do you think? What do you think about this exchange? Is there a merit to her claims? Or is Apostle Gino Jennings' doctrine solid? Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content.